Hello, I'm Upal Gupta and I'll be giving a brief introduction to the project PRU Bridge under Google Summer of Code 2015 for the organization Beagleboard.org. My mentors are Alexander Hiam, Deepak Karki and Hanyu Yao. Let us look at the platform I'll be working on, the Beagleboard Black. It is an embedded platform that hosts a 1 GHz ARM A8 processor and 512 MB of DDR3 RAM. This basically means that it can run various flavors of Linux and some versions of Android also. It has up to 4 GB of onboard flash storage and two 32-bit microcontrollers known as PRUs or programmable real-time units. It also has other peripherals including an Ethernet port micro HDMI and micro SD slots. This is a brief architecture of the SOC. To the left hand side you can see the ARM 8 processor along with its peripherals. On the ARM 8 processor lies the Linux. Due to the basic in hand nature of Linux, we cannot have hard real time applications running on it. Thus we have the PRUs or the programmable real time units. There are two 200 megahertz processors along with their dedicated RAM and shared RAM between them. Let us look little more in depth into both the PRU microcontrollers. So the programmable real time units is a low latency microcontroller subsystem. It is two independent 32 bit RISC architecture processors. Each processor has a clock speed of 200 megahertz of 5 nanosecond per instruction. There is dedicated instruction and data RAM per core, I think 8 KB and shared RAM between both the cores which is 12 KB. There is also a reduced latency due to direct pin access. Due to the reduced latency and real time nature of the PRUs, it is very useful in applications such as 3D printers, CNC machines and bit banking. The current PRU framework has certain shortcomings. For example, if a developer wants to create an application for ARM PRU communication or data transfer, they have to first understand the complete PRU architecture and then the ARPROC driver written for this architecture. They may also have to write a fresh plugin driver and possibly have to hack the current ARPROC driver. The learning curve for both the PRU architecture and the driver is pretty steep and can prove to be a major hurdle for inexperienced developers. Thus, PRU Bridge aims to bridge this gap between the ARM and PRU for communication. We propose to develop a standardized plugin driver to make it easy to leverage data transfer between both PRU and ARM. It will also expose APIs in Python and JavaScript on the Linux side and some APIs on the PRU side. Let's look in depth into the PRU Bridge project. It has three major components, the plugin driver, the firmware plus firmware APIs and the user space APIs. The main aim of the plugin driver is to provide channels of communication between the Linux and the PRU. Each channel will be completely generic and represented by a sysfs file in user space. As we can see in this diagram, we have the sysfs files in user space, we have the plugin driver in the Linux kernel and the shared memory in the plus. We will be using the shared memory to transfer data between the PRU and the driver. Within the shared memory, each channel is represented in circular buffers and there is a special channel known as the control channel. The control channel's primary job is to pass data headers and error messages. Now let's look at the firmware and its APIs. The PRU bridge firmware will basically be routines which will check for flags in the control channel which resides in the shared memory and accordingly import or export data according to the will of the user. The firmware is exposed by the APIs in the, the firmware will also expose APIs which will allow the developer to create or remove channels and transfer data. 
the Linux and user space APIs will be in Python and JavaScript and will again allow for creation and removal of channels and data transfer via the sysfs files. So this is the basic architecture of PRU bridge. As we can see topmost we have the user space APIs which interact with the sysfs files which provide channels of communication via the plugin driver to the shared memory which finally helps in exporting data to the PRU and from the PRU to the driver which in turn takes it to the user space APIs. So finally to follow this project you can uh, check prubridge.blogspot.in or my github repo. Thank you for your time.